everyone, welcome back to DreamHack Summer 2012. That next group stage of the tournament about to begin. We have Moscow Fives versus Absolute Legends. We finally get to see Moscow Five take on some League of Legends action here at yep. Summer DreamHack. Yeah, again, we've got two extremely skilled teams. Now, we went blind picks, so they're locking in right now. Yep. We're going to have the game going underway in under a minute here. And uh, the lineups are going to be pretty interesting. So Moscow Fi with Nunu, Kogma, Jungle Lee Sin, Solo Top Shen, and that mid uh, Mage Twisted Fate. An absolute Legends Riv, what do we got here? You know, it's going to look really good for them. They have Olaf in the jungle. We've seen him quite a bit lately. Nintendo Dude X playing him from Team Dynamic. We have Graves, Karthus as well, a huge initiator and fight ender we've seen. Controversial pick and ban for this tournament for sure as well as that Aurelia and Tarek. They have a lot of armor build on that team, as well as a lot of peel. So it's going to be a fight for both teams. Yeah, you've got a very interesting set of champions here. You've got a lot of dive. And you know, right before that break, what we talked about was that Aurelia-Olaf combo. And with Tarek as well, if they can land it, they've got the ability to really dive on an individual champion. Twisted Fate, uh, as well as Kog'Maw, are going to have a little bit of difficulty here you know, dealing with that sort of setup, because you know, there's a lot of pressure there. Um, and it's going to be very difficult for him to survive right. those kind of encounters. Um, and they're going to have to kind of decide who do they want to dive, who do they want to leave up. But there's the potential for a whole lot of pain to be dumped right on Moscow 5's uh, doorstep. And, uh, you know, I don't know for sure who's going to survive those fights. You know, big lane, or mi big lane, mid lane is going to be a very big lane. We've seen a lot of the Anivia Morgana matchup where they can't really take each other out. These two can easily burst each other down for kills. So it's going to be very aggressive in that mid lane. Both of these teams actually, and I'm putting this on D-Man, so if they go really passive, we get to make fun of them. He said both of these teams, absolutely aggressive. When you've seen that from Moscow 5, we obviously know that. They have the hardcore counter jungler, or counter jungle in the early game, leaving the support with the jungler to counter for a few minutes into the game. We saw them picking up huge kills on Dignitas. I think it was three or four to zero in two minutes. So we'll have to see if Moscow 5 can continue that within this game. Uh, yeah, we'll see what ends up being the case here. <laughs> see, actually, a lot of individual, in, invisible champions on the map right now. There we go. Hey, we're back. All right, cool. What? I don't... Woo! Interesting. <laughs> so, uh, fast-forwarding happening a little bit there. Um, yeah, it, sorry, just don't really know what happened there, but, of course, we still have them right there to my left. They're still here in the building, of course. We will have the games going underway. Riv, how you feeling today, man? I'm feeling pretty good. These have been amazing <laughs> matches. We've seen CLG EU coming in very strong. They were able to just tear through the BYOC section as well with some other teams there. Obviously, we saw up-and-coming teams like Made in Italy not really able to come in too much. And there we are after fast-forwarding and dancing it out. Everybody's a little tired, so they're just going to go for the, uh, the safe jungle here. Absolute Legends now facing off against Moscow 5. Well, we'll see if something's going to happen here. And then we'll pull the crowd to see what happens. We do see Diamond Proc seeing one right there. The players are still playing. You see this? It's going to be a quick flip on the stream. But they are definitely still getting the action down between each other, so nothing going down there. So if you guys now seeing, that's a pretty sweet back, actually. That was BA. I want if mine you, to look like that. Yeah. If you guys want Moscow 5 now to take this first game of the day for themselves, let's hear it for Moscow 5. Wow. Oh. Wowzer. Indeed. And on the flip side, if you want absolute legends to bring this one up, and get 1-0 up in the group. Let me hear you in the audience for Absolute Legends. As you said, these two teams hailing from that same region. We'll have to see who can really put out the pride here. Shen kind of in uh, Celebrator's face. And it looks like he will try to get a steal down on that. Go ahead for Lay Waste. Shandarian is going to be forced to back out here. Karthus taking a little bit of Vorpal damage, but he's more than happy to try and save the Wraiths for his jungler, Veggie. Looks like... Lanes will be returning now. Shen getting a little bit of experience off of that. Veggie using his smite, so we're not going to see too much from Olaf that early out of the jungle. However, Undertow does allow him to uh, not really need to utilize that red buff until he gets into range. Lee Sin, however, going for the fast red, and they're really going to have to babysit Aurelia top if they want to come out scaling into the late game. Yeah, actually, Olaf did save his own smite, although Diamond used his, but Diamond, of course, as Lee Sin, going to have a pretty easy time of, of soloing the golem buff himself. So we might see a very early stab for this lizard from Veggie. Actually walks around, checks for someone waiting in the brush. Saw that right there, and now just spamming out, just doing so much damage there with that golem buff. Really chunking down this lizard, and should be able to pick up that kill very easily as well. There's a smite. Uh, Olaf now being level 3 is going to be a little bit painful. We'll see if Gary's going to have a difficult time here. 
So you see, yep, picking up the golem buffs and the red buff as well. On to Veggie. He's going to head for those golems and get that next skill. Maybe an undertow as well to do a little bit more damage. Farming down bottom is going accordingly. And we do see that they're kind of pressuring top here. A dash in. Blade search by Kiki. Oh, there it is. Finding him in the tri -bush. Both with double buff. But it's just going to be so much damage from the combo of Lee Sin. Tossing in. The vocal blade goes out. And they will find first blood. M5 staying true to the early aggression. Wow, phenomenal, phenomenal jump right there. Despite getting forced into a two versus two, they came out very, very far ahead there. And that's going to be a nice buff refresh there on the diamond. He's actually still waiting around. And uh, Aurelia does not see him down in the fog of war. She does not know there's a potential gank here. But because she's staying in the brush, Diamond is a little bit uh, afraid to do anything here. And Aurelia, of course, afraid to show her face. Will jump in. Diamond's going to recall anyway. He's going to be OK. Yeah, very nice stun there. Save himself from that taunt from Shen. Bottom lane getting aggressed a little bit here. We do see that the CS, as I said before, is still doing pretty well. There's mana is low on both of Absolute Legends, Legends bottom here. Gosu could really go in on this. Genja, if he throws out that Void Ooze, could start doing a lot of damage. Tar just left the lane. They didn't decide that. Selliver with the Ignite on is not going to go back. He actually is using his last potion, and he will go back. So he kind of just popped that for no reason. Yeah, I mean, I think he had it on partially because he was in a, in a fight, kind of just stuck right. through them, tried to stay through the battles. But yeah, ticking on the second one. Yeah, he got True. he got forced out pretty hard, of course. But before the minion wave got there, trying to move into that forward bush, they weren't able to make it. And we do have Aurelia pushing up top quite hard. Lee Sin coming in mid onto Veggie. Yeah, trying it's to make a nice push in. Not gonna quite land anything. Diamond's going to come back, take over mid. Of course, having that, uh, that first blood gold gives him a very, very fast boots of speed in addition to the cloth armor and long sword. So a really nice opening here for Diamond. Lee Sin's doing a phenomenal opener right here. The uh, actual Doran shield opening Shen is surviving very well against Aurelia. You see him just going in there for that pressure, doing a good amount of damage here. And Aurelia is starting to kind of lose these trades. She's running out of health potions, is taking a lot of damage here. It's kind of a scary place to be in. Yes, indeed. They do have a ping down onto Veggie. They know where he is in the jungle, so this is going to mean big aggression in pretty much all the lanes. Tarek once again moving out, getting that ward down. Super A's trying to keep that bottom lane very safe, and he has both a ward and Tribush and River allows these guys to be very aggressive down bottom. And that's exactly what Graves want. They want to be able to farm up in this lane and do what they can. Diamond moving up, trying to position himself here. We are going to see what they get themselves into. They are going for Wraiths. Diamond will continue to pressure this area right now. As we see Karthus in mid versus TF, they're kind of milling about. Looks like actually some uh, spectator lag for us. Sorry about that, guys. Having a bit of trouble getting ourselves through. Um, but I'm pretty sure the game is going uninterrupted for the players, although we'd see a pause or something. So unfortunately, not the most exciting of action to show <laughs> you guys on the screen right now. Um, but, but certainly... You know, I don't see people standing up. I don't see them, you know, kind of running up and admins running over. So it looks like we're okay as far as the players go. And hopefully we get ourselves synced back up in the near future. Um, and yeah, so, you know, 1-0 so far. Moscow 5 in the yeah. lead. That early gank did go very phenomenally for them. Uh, what are you seeing for the rest of this game? You know, if they can keep that up, they did kind of get Aurelia up top, but they actually getting the kill on the jungler in that section of on uh, Olaf. But if they can keep that pressure up top, keep Aurelia back towards her turret, that's really the one they need to focus on. And you can see that Keek knew that up top. He was like, hey, these guys are still in my lane. I'm going to hide in the bush. And then he just went to Blade Surge and Minion and was like, you know what? I still don't see anybody. And we don't see Lee Sin in any other lanes. I'm backing. So a very good yeah. kind of forward push by the first or top lane between who's top lane? Shen and uh, our Diamond Prox in the jungle, they were able to get that kill and assist, which is very big for them. Yeah. And it shows that Moscow 5 still, like as I said, 